Acts chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. You got kids? Okay. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. And he's going to choose Israel. You know? And set them in their own land. And we're going to go back in our own land. The scripture said the Lord going to put us in our own land. The reason why this is important is because the same the brothers that you, that you listen to, which is our brothers, you know, we love them brothers, but some things they are going off on. All right? They, they say that you got to up and leave America. You understand? Yeah. But the scripture says that what? We got again? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Okay, the scripture said he's going to set us. He said he's going to set us in our own land. You got people leaving and going over there in Israel, and guess what they're doing? Sterilizing the woman. Right. All kind of wickedness is going. The most high is going to put us back in that land. Right. Where we are ruling. Right. You understand? These brothers that's leaving. Say that we go there and they say when Christ returns, he's going to put us exactly. there. So what, you fleeing, you leave. fleeing, hey, you, you got no, people, you have one, when, when they just came with that doctrine, a lot of people flee and went into Egypt. You know what, what, what happened in Egypt? A big um, civil war break out over there. A riot. You understand me? So what sisters have to do then? They have to up and flee and flee to some other place. You understand? But right here in America, guess what? In America, there's certain things that the Most High got set up. That's right. You understand? You see right. how we on the street teaching like this? Them brothers can't go in them Arab country and teach like this. That's right. Well, I, I was watching on the news. The, the 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 Arabs ISIS they they um line off 1,700 school kids and execute them headshot style. You understand? These brothers that lead this country they can't go in them other countries and teach the gospel of the Mosai. The way we teach it here in America. No because according to the prophecy, the majority of Israel is going to be right here in Babylon. You understand? So when the scripture says go to Revelation 18 and 4, because America have touched every way in this earth, because I'm from Trinidad, I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Growing up, you know, we have certain values and so forth, but right now, that country that I'm from, it has been indoctrinized by America, by Babylon. All these, all these countries all over the earth follow America views. So no matter where you go, America is there. You understand? So brothers that running, that, that, that running from Babylon, they, they're running right into same Babylon. You understand? But we be that. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So when the scripture said, Come out of her, is he talking about us getting a plane and leaving the country? No, it's not talking about that because when you keep on reading in Revelation, it says, All nations have drink of the wrath of and the blood of fornication. All nations have. So if the scripture ain't saying to go to another nation, what is it talking about? Read on. That ye be not partakers of her sins. It's talking about being partakers of the sins here in America. That's because right. the deliverance is going to happen right here in Babylon. Right. All people that's here, they're going to be delivered out of here. You understand? Read on. That ye, that ye be what? That ye be not partakers of her sins. That you be not partakers of her sins. Because you could be in, you could be in Haiti, are you still celebrating the sins of America? Right. Christmas, right, right, right. Thanksgiving, all these right. Halloween. You could be in England and you still celebrating the sins of America. Right. You understand? So it's not talking about fleeing the country. It's talking about taking part in the well, sins what about of America. In 70 AD when Christ said, <coughs> when you see the Romans, flee. Okay, that was at that time. We was ruling. We was ruling. And guess what? Guess, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess, guess what? Guess what? We understand all and of that. Everything by the, by the mercies of, what, what is it? By the mercies of Lamentations 3.22. Lamentations 3.22. Let me get Lamentations 3.22. Did, didn't you think they tried to wipe us out in slavery? They, they tried, didn't they try to wipe, wipe us out in RFD trip? Yeah, she confused. All right. Lamentations chapter 3. It says, as I said, we got a lot of brothers that know they're Israel, but not all the doctrines on them is, 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 is according to the scriptures. Right. All right. The RFD trip, where they going? When the scriptures talk about no man should buy and sell unless he got the mark, it's not going into you putting a chip inside of your body. It's not going into that. Because the Arabs and them, they're not going to take no damn chip. You understand? It said, it said all nations. 
You understand? No, sister, that ain't happening. You no, understand? No, because but when you read the scripture, the when it says the mark of the beast came along, the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast, sister, it came along ever since it's slavery. Ever since right. slavery, the mark of the beast was here. Right. We're just waiting for the chip, but guess what? The mark of the beast already here. Yes, you understand? Right. The Antichrist is already here. I know. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. So it's, it's, of, it's because of the Lord's mercy. That's why we have not been consumed. You understand? Right. We understand the white man, he, he, he put certain things in the food trying to kill us out. We understand that the white man, and guess what? This, this food go all around the world. Right. All around the world, this food that the white man, him, that the white man come up with, go well, around. I lived in China yeah. for five years. All right, sis. I just came from China, so the food is totally different from the sis, food here. Sis, sis, listen to me. All these third world countries, I'm from Trinidad, as an, and as I tell you, all these canned food, all these foods up here, the farmers over there was complaining because they planting crops and they can't export their crops and so forth and they can't sell their crops. Guess where the crops coming from? The food coming from? America. So th that end is not a new sister. Read that again. Lamentations chapter 322. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. So yes, the white man want to destroy us. But the more side is up, it's because of the world side, worst mercy, being they, they will not be able to destroy us, sister. You understand? No matter what they implemented, they came about with the AIDS. You understand? It started in Africa. No, no, the AIDS, AIDS spread all over. Then we got white people start getting AIDS. Then they came with the crack in the early 80s. You understand the crack? Then you got white people start smoking crack and the violence start to spread to their community. You understand? So no matter what they do, they can't, they ain't gonna be able to destroy us, sister. So you understand? I'm telling you straight, people that get fearful and wanna leave Babylon, they they jumping out of the fire and jumping into a pot because these brothers into the, in the they jumping out of the pot and going into the fire because in these country system in 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 um, in Israel in Jerusalem can can the elder of GOCC go out and teach this truth exactly can he because what they going they going they going to kill him over there they going to shut him exactly in some countries. He can't go and teach this school truth. But let me get Isaiah 8. Isaiah 30 and 8. Let's see what the scripture says. Isaiah 30 and 20. Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah 30 and 20. Get that and read that. Chapter 30, verse 20. Read. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. So, adversity. sister, the scripture says that God going to give us the bread of what? Adversity. The bread of adversity. Meaning our people going to be catching up. You understand? We know it. And the water of affliction. I know what people going to be afflicted over and over. I know you see what's going on in the news. Cops killing young black men in the street rampantly. You understand? We know it. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corners anymore. So the scripture says the teachers of this Bible, they are not going to be removed into a corner anymore. Right. You know it. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. What? Thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Thy eyes shall see thy teachers, meaning the teachers going to be out there teaching. That's right. You understand? And where? That's why the scripture said, uh, when it said, deliver thyself, Zion, that dwellest in the daughter of Babylon, which we know is America, mm. meaning what? Israel going to be here in Babylon. You understand? And this is where the teachers going to be teaching. You think is a, is a reason why the most, the most I had it set up where where um, you got freedom of speech here in America. You could call a white man the devil. You, you think you could go in, in, in one of them Muslim countries and say, Arab is no God? They gonna stone you to death over there. Right. You understand? So the most I set up these laws for what people to teach in this country. That's right. For, for the prophets and them to come out and speak boldly. Right. Don't get me wrong, in the future the laws gonna change. They, they little, 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 little by little trying to change the law. You know, say you can speak against homosexuality and stuff like that. Little by little they're trying to change it. But the point is, is that the most I got it set up here in America for us to teach it to our tribe. That's right. You understand? This is where the truth started. And this is where this is where this is where it started, right, right here. And it's because of the certain laws and certain constitutions thing that was set up in the constitution. That's why our people. That's why the prophet is able to speak boldly in this place. You understand? So it says. So when when as I said, I love that. Um, that's my brother from GOCC. Them brothers is my brothers. But some things they're teaching is over. You understand? 
is something they're teaching is off. Now, if your husband is from Angolia and he's a Hamite, he's going to be a servant in the kingdom. Right? And, and any kids that he have with you, them kids is also going to be servants in the kingdom. All right? So they, they are not going to be ruling, in, ruling on the earth with us. None of that. No, you, you are, you are an Israelite. You understand? No, the kingdom is for you. You hear this truth, and you want to get yourself right. You understand? But when, when, when the scripture, let, let me get that in Corinthians, Corinthians seven. The unbelieving. Oh, seven. Yeah, Corinthians seven. Because you're doing this, and eventually your husband he gonna say, because there's a big chance that he's not Israel. You understand? And he's gonna say, this is what he's gonna say. I don't believe that. I don't want to follow that. You crazy. These are the things that he's going to tell you. Now what you going to do? This is why, this is why Paul, Paul give example. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 15. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. Because you might be married to a man. He might be an unbeliever. You understand? You with this man, Yes, you're trying to show him the scriptures. You know, you you doing what's right, you keeping the Sabbath. You know, he what you can pour for him, he what you do, you like, listen, I'm not doing these things. He what you wear tight pants to show your finger, you like, babes, I'm not doing these things. He don't like that. He said he want the old you. He want to see his shape on your finger. He want to he want to see the wicked you. And you and he realize you change your life and you don't want to do what he want. You don't want to live according to this wicked world. You understand? A decision is going to be made eventually. You understand? Read that again. Verse 15. But if the unbelieving depart. If your unbelieving husband depart, all right, you know what? Let him depart. Let him depart. You know what? A brother or a sister is not under bondage. A brother or a sister is no longer under bondage. What bondage means? Bondage of what? The bondage of marriage. Because right. according to the scripture, marriage is until you die. Right. You understand? But if you come into the truth and you got and you marry, like some sisters, we had we have sisters that came came and married to the white man. And got kids for the white man. You understand? That was her burden that she gotta carry. Because them kids is not Israel. You understand? And the white man, he's not gonna get the he the damn devil. So she had to make a decision for herself. You understand? The Egyptians. The word devil mean what? The word no, the word devil means deceiver. Alright? The reason why we say the white man is the devil is because he has deceived the earth. Alright? He has deceived the earth to say that he had a Jew. He has deceived he have deceived the 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 Beyonce deceiver the young the, exactly yes the Beyonce also got the devil on her. you understand me it means that not all white people are the devil sister do you love the white man I'm not saying I love the white man but do you look at the history what was done to us sister listen I quote do you think don't you think the most I sister do you don't know the most I got judgment exactly so no so 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 when it says when it says that, what is it going into? What, what is it going into, sis? What is it going into? But as I said, there's a decision you're going to have to make eventually. All right? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our